commentary. Yeah, I I like this uh, thinking about who all the originals were. I don't know. I came up with Kimberly. I I don't know how many other ones are off the top of my head. Who else was up? Who, that you, you knew like half of them probably, right? Who else? I mean, I think there was like some people I didn't know, which was kind of str- weird because I thought like all the the top seven were like everybody knew them. You know, we're all gonna be like, oh, you probably already got it from every, all the commenters on your video. I, I, you know, something I think about a lot because people talk about it a lot is the old YouTube, the way it used to be. I loved it back in the day. People say that a lot, and. For me, the biggest difference as a creator is that there's, well, there's two big differences, I guess. One is that there's no video responses, which was just a slap in the face. Because that was my favorite thing to do, was to talk to people and then, like, just staple it to their video. You know, whether they wanted it or not, it was there. That was the, that was the fucking spammy days of glory, man. And um, the other thing they did is introduce the partner program, obviously, and, and money. And made it about, like grab attention it was less about the message and more about the attention i think after the money got involved and it was funny i remember we used to talk about that like as google bought them we were all like oh god corporations coming through and maybe you know maybe we were creating that maybe it didn't have to go that way google's a great corporation too like as corporations go it's pretty upstanding from what i can tell sergey and larry are awesome dudes but once they introduced that money, man, it just became a shark tank. Um, but the message is still there. You can It's still a great venue to get your message across. But also what changed is that it, when YouTube first started, it was the only video hosting site on the web. Like MySpace could, I think, but it was horrible. The MySpace videos were terrible. And that was it. That was pre-Facebook, pre-internet video. The, YouTube was the one. And so everybody used it. And then, you know, vlogger heads came out. Fucking, I don't know how many hundreds of people. from. This is probably the biggest diversion from old YouTube to what came next is when all the blo- all those bloggers left YouTube and went to vlogger heads. I never spoke to tons of them after that. It just, just disappeared. I got an invite to vlogger heads, but I didn't like it because it was invite only. Felt very, very snobby. Felt like a... A white collar club or something. That was jarring. And then, you know, Facebook video, all these other video sites, Snapchat. Now Twitter came out. God, Instagram. All all these other websites now can host video. You can host video on your own website. So YouTube's not that big of a deal anymore. I still go there because, like, every clip in the world is uploaded there. But to talk to people, which was my method which is why i was using it was to talk to people uh like twitter's better for that now you know at tag someone and put a twitter vid we still we're in we're in the same place maybe not the same place but i mean things are just as drastic if not more drastic we need to we need to to use the technology to unify people And we are, you know, we kind of are, but fucking money, man. Money, 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 money. What is, what is going on here? I'm going to try a creative way to tag this to you. Maybe I can at tag Zipster08 or something. By the way, Terry who I'm making this video to, go subscribe to Terry. He's Zipster08. That's his username. Quite a funny fellow. You are a funny fellow, my friend. A funny dog. I'm like, I'm really into Twitter right now. The whole like real time trending, direct contact with videos, that's... And apparently Snapchat, get on Snapchat. If you're not on Snapchat, get on Snapchat. It's hot. And then I'm working on Minds, which is like the open source version of all this stuff. And we just keep compiling and compiling and compiling. You like that aspect of the website? We'll put it in Minds. 
add that, add that, which is nice. I think mines has a lot of potential as it's being built. I'm super pumped about Twitter. I hear it's not doing so well, that it's kind of like on the decline lately because their feed isn't uh, sorted. It's just like a direct feed. You see everything. Whereas Facebook, kind of like whatever you like to last, you, you tend to see more of that rather than just see everything. I was thinking, I was talking to my buddy Jeff the other day about my tactics uh, back in the day. I mean, in order to be famous, you kind of got to want it. You have to want it, you know. You know. I mean, it's like talking to a, a brother, talking to a mirror. Um, you got to kind of to want it. You got to be like self-ingratiating, and that's fine. If you're a performer, you got to you gotta love yourself. You got to want to be on in front of everyone and be the talker. But yeah, yeah. I guess your uh, your merits speak for themselves. The quality of your work, but it's the interconnecting that really makes it legit. Well, straight talking.